D.W. Harris, and I have two Gamo 22 caliber brake barrels, the Magnum and the Bone Collector. They shoot the same pellet, awesome, at 40 yards. Let's get to it. And I've got some targets down there uh, at 40 yards, some uh, three inch paper. And I start with the target on the left. And the uh, camo magnum, 22 caliber, and I'm shooting the um, let's see, the JSB 15.89 grain. See if these uh, see if these are any good at 40 yards. This will be number five, the last one. Okay, now I'm going to shoot the uh, Gamo Bone Collector in the same uh, JSP 15.89s. See how this, see how this one droops. I'm going to shoot the, uh, the center target. This will be number five in the bone collector. Okay, let me grab those targets and bring them back here and get a close look. Alright, here's our targets. They were down in 40 yards and the Gamo uh, Magnum Draw them all together and I had one that was out and my little washer has no problem covering up that group but one pellet was out and the same thing with the um, <coughs> with the Gamble Bone Collector all four pellets in a real tight group and I had, didn't have one flyer covers them up no problem so that's that's the results on that and that seems to be like the best pellet for both of these guns. They're both camo brake barrels. Hey guys, that, that's gonna be it for this one. And uh, again the uh, Gamo Magnum. This is, these guns are both Gen 2. Uh, Gamo Magnum 22 and the Gamo Bone Collector 22. 
And uh, I just wanted to show you that uh, these two brake barrels shoot uh, almost identical down at 40 yards. Although the, uh, the Magnum will shoot out to 80 yards pretty accurately. It's uh, more powerful than the Bone Collector, but the Bone Collector is a real nice gun. And so is the Magnum. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching.